So as we stare at Rod, we're gonna wait for him to get back up, and if he gets back up and walks up this thing, I guess we've confirmed that it's not, but we're gonna see right now. Okay, okay, okay. He, he just teleported! Rod just teleported away! What?! What's up, my dudes? How's it going today? Dan Blake here today. Welcome back to Ice Cream 2. We're about to have a fun time here. We always play the game differently. And today, it's going to be especially different. Now, today, Rod has become rich. Um, I think, likewise, I think we've become rich. I think the whole world has become rich in this version. This is a modified version by Dr. Hack. He makes amazing mods, and today I'm so excited to play his rich mod. Check him down in the description. He is so cool. He makes a lot of cool stuff. He's made a lot of granny mods in the past, and they're just amazing. But today... It's gonna be, um, I guess, especially cool because uh, we can make our own stories, we can mess around, we can glitch the game, and we're gonna experience this all together. This is, is such a different way to play, and I'm excited to do it with you. You know, make you smile along the way and just have some fun. So this is Rod, I guess, becoming rich. Let's just see what the first cutscene looks like. I'm super excited to see this already. So, <laughs> everything's golden. Everything is golden in my room. Oh my gosh. I mean the picture frames. They're all normal. Oh, what am I drawing? I'm drawing like a heart with like valve tubes running around. Oh, ice cream too. Are you guys ready for this? Oh my gosh. Look at this room. I've got like a golden bed. I have money bed sheets. Oh yeah. Collect my money bed sheets. You know, I can just sell this. I'm just gonna throw it out the window. Whoa! Yeah, I got- I just got wallpaper full of gold. I got a desk full of gold. I want to see what the, um, outside is like. I've never seen it. This is- we're experiencing this together, you know? I could call myself something else. I'm not J anymore. I'm just- like, I'm just a dollar sign now, imagine. Like, I'm not even J, I'm just dollar sign. <laughs> but, um, I, if we are gonna give ourselves a story here today, let's let's make it completely different from, like, Ice Cream 2, right? So we'll just be Jeremy the First. Would Jeremy... Oh, do you have to say the first? Because if you're the first, why would you say the first? Wouldn't you just say Jeremy? Like, I don't know how... How does that work? Do you... Can you have the first? Or is it only in history? Like, nevertheless... I guess I'll be Jeremy the second. Aha, that sounds more classy. I am Jeremy the second. I have my blankets here on the floor. I am a rich man up in my bedroom. My parents won't let me leave because they're locking me in my room. They don't want me to see anything downstairs. But I did hear my friend, Lysandra. She wanted to talk to me about the ice cream man. Hey, Lysandra is down there. Oh my gosh, she has glasses. Lysandra! Oh my Lysandra has glasses. Mm. Oh, they're in the secret lair, they are. Oh my gosh, she looks so weird. Oh my gosh, oh, there's so many things to comprehend here. Rod, what? <laughs> he has golden gloves on, and he has glasses, and she has glasses. <clears throat> so we're gonna pick up our blankets here. Uh, Lysandra has just been captured. <laughs> I, it's like, are these names even like, are they proper names because we're saying it in British or in British? <laughs> I'm, I, I don't know like what the story could be for today, but um, I, I guess you saw Rod. He had like golden gloves on. Both Rod and Liz had glasses. It's weird because it's a texture. So they don't, they're like wearing the glasses. I don't even know where my paper glasses are. I lost, oh, there they are. Look, it's like they're, it was like glasses that were built into their skin. It wasn't even like, uh, like, you know, real glasses, so it's, it's so unusual to see, but this is so cool so far. Alright, well, <laughs> well, I'll, I'll make my way outside of the window, I shall string my money blanket down, so that I can leave this, this, this house is, is haunted, oh my gosh, golden door, whoa. So, um, I didn't know this before, but did you know that you can climb over this fence? Um, I was watching some videos of people playing the game, and I saw them, like, try to run away from Rod, and they looked down at this fence. I didn't know you could do this. There's so many secrets to this game. All right, so it does still say ice cream, but the cones are money. Can I just have two cones of money, please? Jeez, okay. Um, the doors open up. The inside looks fine. I want to see what all these places look like. There has to be, like, some crazy stuff to it. Oh, my gosh, the cutscene looks so different. What? Rod, what are you wearing? Like a golden jacket? <laughs> it sounds like now he's complaining about being rich. Everybody's calling him chubby, and these look like us. I remember when I first saw this. Did you see his face? Oh my gosh. 
He had like a goatee and glasses on. Oh my gosh. This mod is just surprising me around every corner. Okay, so we're here in the circus. Oh my gosh. So yeah, Rod has, has a golden, I guess, uh, what is it? I guess that's called an apron. Yeah, golden apron. I forgot what it's called for a second. Has a golden apron, has golden gloves. He has plaid pants and like a plaid hat. Dude, he looks nice. He's got the style. Look at him walking around. He ain't the ice cream man. He's the ice cream man. No, wait, what? <laughs> He's not the ice cream man, he's the ice cream man, because I think people call, like, style ice, like, oh, I got the ice. So I guess he doesn't really have, like, diamonds on, but he's got the gold, and it looks good. <laughs> oh my gosh. I gotta get the high score. I gotta knock him out so I can see him a little bit better. All right, so I just made it inside the, uh, arcade, and, um, this is what Charlie's wearing. <laughs> I guess Charlie's got, um, a Hawaiian shirt with, like, some... I guess lion or something? Oh, it's a dude. Okay, so I guess this is the style. He also has the glasses that he's blinking through. So I don't know, that's pretty creepy, but hey, Charlie, what's up? Oh, geez. I'm sorry, I'm not messing with your style, man. You're cool. You're cool. What does Mike got? Mike, ooh, Mike's got a chain. Mike's, does Mike have a tattoo? What? Yeah, yeah, Mike's got a tattoo. He's <laughs> he's going hardcore, you know, he's, he's trying to be a different guy. Uh, man, everything in this, this game has changed so much. So I think I have to get the new high score here because this is a modified version, so it doesn't count as the real game. I want to see if I can get it first try, and uh, let's get that uh, launcher. All right, so it just beat the record. It took me like seven lives, but I did it, and I actually got the highest that I've ever gotten before, 365. <laughs> That's the highest I've ever gotten before. That's pretty cool. I still even have one life remaining, but I think it's good. I've been uh, wasting a lot of time on this arcade game. This guy's just spending his life staring at a window. So, I mean, we're one in the same, Mike. All right, Charlie, give it up. Uh, I'm about to take this ball launcher from you. Uh, let's see what he looks like because usually he looks sad. Let's see. Oh, yeah, kind of does. I mean, but he's hiding it behind the sunglasses. So, it's, uh, no worry. I'm gonna take the ball launcher, and I'm gonna head out into the world and discover all the new stuff. So, um, I didn't really look at the ice cream truck too much, and I'm gonna take a quicker look after I shoot Rod in the face. So, pop! Oh, that one didn't even look that painful. He kind of just dropped down. Jeez. Um, but I guess we can look at Rod real quick. Um, he's got some, like, cool sunglasses. I, dude, stop! Stop moving! He's, like, kicking up a bunch. All right, so... He, okay, he does not, he is not cooperating right now. All right, so he has the cool sunglasses. He's got that plaid hat. Everything looks so cool. Like, man, this texture looks so good. Okay, I got to give it to Dr. Hack. Like, that is some cool textures. But I wanted to see the car. I didn't really get to look around too much. And there's $100 bills, big old ice cream cut up. That's cool, too. And, um, yeah, everything just looks very smooth and nice. Especially, um, if you look at the bottom, it's, like, wooden. <laughs> it's, like, a wooden bottom or golden, maybe, bottom? I don't know. That It just works so well together. What about you? Are you... <laughs> I don't know why it looks so funny just to see Liz in a cage, but she looks like she's just chilling. She's like, yo, I got, I got my milk, you know, I got my chain. She looks like she's just hanging out. What's up? <laughs> all right, so let's head to somewhere new. Let's try the cinema. Did that change at all? Boom! Open up the doors. I guess not. I guess it did not change a single bit. Um, but maybe the insides. Let's... Oh, hey there, buddy. Um, we're gonna walk into... No, dude, where are you... It looks like he's going back into the room. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna walk this way. We're gonna knock him out and just push him in there so he gets stuck and we can look around for a second. Let us shoot him. Ah! Oh, jeez. I didn't need to shoot him that many times. Oh, wait, they patched the glitch out. No! <laughs> you know the glitch with the door? Oh, man, I thought it could still work. Um, well, I guess Rod's gonna be sleeping here, and I'm gonna close the door. Um, yeah, they, I guess they patched the glitch out. I didn't know. Um, but yeah, it's it's not there. You should just be able to walk through that door. Um, so it seems like there's nothing new over here. Maybe we should try some other areas. And then we can also try to glitch out the game. Uh, we'll probably go back to the circus. And I wanna try one more time to see if we can try to somehow, like, knock Rod into the arcade shop. All right! So we are in the cemetery. Nothing new here. Um, it is pretty pretty standard, but I wouldn't I wouldn't imagine anything would be changed here It's probably like all the same texture anyway. 
Um, so there's not a lot to change, but it is pretty cool. But yeah, uh, let's just now, ha I mean, I guess we've seen all we've seen. Let's go and try to see if we can do that glitch, um, in the circus. See, this is gonna be the toughest thing we've ever done, because this glitch is not, uh, very easy to do. Because, um, <laughs> what is it? You need to knock out Rod also while leaning him up against the door, so boom! Oh, that was right in his mouth. Um, we're gonna push him up towards the door. And there is no, like, open door. It has to be, like, an animation of you walking through. So it's very difficult to get Rod in here. You have to kind of be pushing him as you're walking on through. No, it didn't work. Didn't work, see? You have to do some, like, finessing. We have to get him up onto the door and, like, pushed up there. Come on, go, go, go. Rod, get up now. All right, so I think we've kind of gotten it here. Oh, <gasps> almost. That was so close. Okay, okay, okay. Almost, almost, almost. I mean, he might get up here, which is, like, not good. Um, but the door is glitching. Rod is, like, glitching his head through there. So we're gonna try everything. I better back up before he wakes up. All right, so he just woke up. Just woke up. <laughs> we knocked him out immediately. He probably stood up and was like, oh, my head. <laughs> okay, so this is so difficult to do. But we got him into the door here. Go, 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 go. No. No, open. Why? Why is this glitch so hard to do? Okay, this is just, this looks kind of like weird because it looks like I'm just smashing him into the door. From a distance, Charlie's like, I'm going to act like I didn't see anything. <laughs> but like, we're just literally smashing him like, open the door already. Open. <laughs> um, yeah, this is not working. I don't think it will. I feel like we've tried this before, but I thought, you know, maybe if we just get it just right, we can get him in there. But yeah, I don't know. It's, it's just not working. Oh, wait. What if I open? Nope, nope. I can't do it. What if I go in exactly as he's about to capture? Oh, I can't. I forgot. He just, he just captures me. So we've been captured and now we're heading into the stall, which hasn't been changed. As you can see, we're not living the life of luxury anymore. J Jeremy the second here is, uh, is, uh, you know, I, I don't have my luxuries of my home. I shall try to escape this establishment because uh, it looks very dirty and poor. So yeah, this texture mod is pretty cool. There's a lot of cool stuff. I mean, some of the basic textures, like, um, I guess the floors and stuff haven't been changed, but all the cool stuff, like our room, we got the ice cream truck. Everything is all, like, I guess, pizzazzed up to be, I guess, rich. It's all golden, full of money. It's nice. I mean, it's, like, a really hard thing to do to texture mod, and Dr. Hack is, like, one of the best people at doing texture mods. I think he's, like, right around the corner. I need to get out of here. All right, so I feel like we've seen pretty much uh, all of the mod that there is to see but now I want to uh, Rod come over here what is he doing I wanted to say like hey I'm gonna bring him into an area Rod where where is he going I've never seen this hey Rod Rod I mean I do have a ball launcher but <laughs> there you go come here buddy he's like running away from me where okay so I think if I walk here he's not allowed to walk here for some reason so if I walk right here he turns around does he does he walk? Yeah, he doesn't. Okay, we found something. We found something, which means that if we walk here, he's stuck. So if we knock him out, oh, that does not look good. So uh, I don't know what happened here, but now he's going to be, I think, locked out of the game because it looked like he wouldn't walk on this. I've always said, hey, you know, I'm not going to shoot him over here because he's just gonna walk back up this tent this might be a glitch where it glitches out the game this could be a game breaking glitch so as we stare at rod we're gonna wait for him to get back up and if he gets back up and walks up this thing i guess we've confirmed that it's not but we're gonna see right now okay 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 he he just teleported rod just teleported away what wait 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 what I can hear him too. Oh my gosh. So, um, Rod is completely gone. I guess when we, we shot him out there, he just disappeared from the world. Did he go into the tent or what? What? Okay. I've never seen that before in my life. Oh my gosh. He has to be in the tent, right? But then if he, if he did, I can hear him somewhere. I don't know where he is. Oh, he did. He did. He glitched inside. Okay. I was like, did we, did we make him like disappear forever? Okay. Well, now he's essentially stuck though on the inside, which is like just as bad for him because he can never get us. That's like really bad for him. Look, he's stuck crawling and trying to walk into a pole. He can't do anything. Well, all right. Better uh, just knock him out so he can relax for a second. I think I'm going to leave it here. We've done so much and we've, we've played one of the coolest mods I've ever seen. 
where Rod becomes rich. I mean, he has everything in the world and he still wants to kidnap us for some reason. You can see that that vengeance runs cold in his heart. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and it made you smile. If you ever feeling bad, you can look up Dak Blake. We can play some games together and I can cheer you up once more. Make sure to leave suggestions of what we should do in the game. I've only seen like a couple of comments and we're gonna do those and you're gonna get shout outs if you um, suggest a video topic that we should do. Think of a creative way to play ice cream and we're gonna try to do it in our future episodes and keep the ball rolling as um, I think ice cream 3 is coming out we're just gonna keep playing and doing it or doing it or I can't even speak right now doing it our own way until that comes out but I'm excited we're having so much fun and it's just so awesome to connect with you guys thank you for joining the DAC pack I'll see you in the next video it's probably coming up right now so let's keep the ball rolling let's keep having some fun and messing around in games thank you guys for watching and as always peace out my dudes